I think it's just like you see you see people die. Mm. You see people die inside, outside, um, domestic violence wise, crime wise, um, drug and alcohol use is totally normal. Young kid when I was young, thirteen, so I'd run away by this time. Living in Redfern, um, top of Redfern with my grandmother, 88 Everly Street, and I still remember there's probably five um, overdoses of heroin that had just come into the country, and five of those 13-year-old kids I hung around, they were part of our group, had overdosed and died. and it's like, Five yeah, kids? Yeah. And, and From it wasn't, your block? Uh, in the one day. It was yeah, like yeah. over a period of time. But it was Five kids sh- at the age of 13? Yeah, 13, man. So, like, you look at another third, people... It's easy to judge someone, <coughs> but come and walk in the house with me. Come come with me. I'll take you to a house and then tell me what the kid that's sitting there with the parents that are arguing, smoking pot or taking drugs mm. in front of the kid or maybe a single parent, mother who's swearing at the kid, smoking drugs, taking drugs, um, no morals, no beliefs, you know, maybe got a man coming in, then another man, that's and, cool. and I mean yeah. this respectfully, as well, doing her best in her eyes to survive and the kid's yeah. seen it, who's a female as well, or, you know, or the father that's abusive to the kid, whatever it is. It's just we've got it twisted and then we're like, oh, this kid's just the scum of the earth. Lock him up, throw away their key. We just don't seek to understand. We really don't. No, we, I, you've got a very a, nuanced view of this, which I like as yeah, well. Yeah, and it, it's – I want to pass that on to all of us to, as you said, what do you see? Like – I see um, a world that is twisted amongst all of the elements of the world, relationships, you know. Mm. It, people can talk a good game. So even in, you know, you look at that relationship I just spoke about with the kid and then you look at a relationship at a corporate level where this bloke's working long hours, all female these days, mm. big ups to use all, mm. right, go out and get it as hard as you can. But then they forget about their families. And, and they go, yeah, but I gave my kid the Ferrari and Lamborghini. Mm. I, I coach or, you know, amongst the organisations that have people of this nature. And when it happens, they go, oh, they got everything. As I said, you know, beautiful house. I've got millions in my account. But what the kid d- doesn't have is just a nice cuddle at night. Yeah, and of course. And a father or mother that tells them that they love them. A, a moment to just go... Whatever it is, do something in town. It's anything and everything, right? You choose. And in the end, they won't do that with their kid. And the kid doesn't feel loved. Four things. Love, cared for, that they mattered. And love, kindness, um, love cared for, that they may matter and they're valued. Mm. So those four <coughs> things. Any relationship, tell me I'm wrong. It's up to you. But any woman, I know if I told that to my partner, said I'm going to take away those four things, I wouldn't last too long. You do that with a kid and they'll feel unloved, uncared mm. for, unvalued. And all of a sudden they'll go out and they'll seek external validation, whether it's drinking, whether it's drugs, whether it's toxic behaviors and the role modeling, even though you're a great person, you didn't pass on the role modeling. You passed on working hard is important yeah. and they might have a great work ethic, but they don't know how to treat a woman it's almost or like, man. Yeah. It's almost like you're giving them 50% of what they need almost. Uh, you know, and, I mean? not only, and I mean that respectfully to <coughs> no, all the parents. True. Get out, get it. Yeah. I love what you're doing. Get your bread. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but also give as much love as cash. <laughs> 100%. Maybe we should make a course on that. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a good one. I cash love and it. love. I love that. Because in the end, like, you know, it's not like they're doing it in ten, oh, I'm going to stuff my kid up. Mm. They're saying I'm setting my kid up forever. I'm, you know, I'm an awesome father, mother, whatever it is, mm. and I respect your view on that. But if we pause for a moment and say, how much time? If you broke down your week into a pie chart mm. and the old school pie chart and went like this, and it was like work ninety five percent, child one percent, four percent to myself around beauty and how I feel about myself. Mm. What do you reckon the kid's going to feel? 